Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mandeep and in today's video, we are going to deploy our model onto AWS cloud. We are going to see how we can deploy it. So uh, these are the steps that we are going to follow for today's video. And uh, just to make sure that uh, you get the right context, uh, since the first step is build and save model. So this part we have already done in our previous video. So I am going to use the same model that we have built for our nav based classifier basically this one and uh, if you have jumped directly on this video so i would request you please take a look on the previous videos because uh, these first initial two or three steps we have already done and we are not going to focus on those steps just to keep the uh, content of this video relevant to the deployment so let's get started so uh, let us say uh, i am assuming that we have saved our model into our local saved when we when i say save it it means that i have converted into dot pickle library and also dot pickle file and i have uh, done the training and now after doing the training uh, i have saved it and after doing the sa uh, saving part i have uh, written my backend as well backend is something like this one my app.py file which basically um, will call my model and uh, i have uh, created a plain html file uh, which something looks like this so this is the uh, this is the model that we have used in our previous video as well so in this model what we do is we can give the salary of any uh, any person and his or her age and let's say my uh, age is 23 male one or zero male one means yes male and zero male zero means uh, female so uh, if i click on predict so it gives me that uh, uh, that a particular person based on these parameter will buy uh, via social media ad or not so this is our model and this is a quick background about our um, steps of so uh, our first and second steps and third step so these steps uh, i am safely assuming i just showed to you quickly in a very quick manner and we will start from the create aws account so uh, if you have not created an account on aws you just need to go to aws console so you can say aws login and you need to go here aws.amazon.com create an account here once you create an account you will land here on on some on a screen something like this once you land here the next step of our in in this journey is our is create an ec2 instance so ec2 instance is basically the uh, servers which are basically which are we are going to use so uh, to create an ec2 instance once you you type here ec2 and you uh, will find you go here on the search results and once you click on the ec2 instance some page will some will appear something this something like to this now if i say uh, uh, i need to go to launch instance uh, so uh, here i need to go to launch instance and you click on launch instance and you go here launch instance once you click on launch instance now you can what you can do is you will see uh, what kind of instance you are going to use, you want to use do you want to use ubuntu do you want to use microsoft or what kind of server uh, you windows basically uh, what kind of server do you want to use so you can uh, type your name of your uh, server so let's say uh, i i am writing ml demo so i am writing something like this ml demo give the name and then type here let's say ubuntu i want ubuntu so I click on Ubuntu. I got it. Uh, make sure that you uh, there are Ubuntu instances which are free of cost, and there are Ubuntu instances which uh, needs uh, you know pay, which are payment based. So I would request you if you are doing it for study purpose or trying out something, always use the free instance. Otherwise, it is going to cost you. So I am taking this one uh, Ubuntu instance and the here you can see free tier uh, eligible and verify provider and let's say if i select it i click on select once you select it come down a little bit scroll uh, scroll down a little bit on the same page 
so i have selected it and now you here here you need to use uh, a key pair key pair will be required in during the deployment process i am going to tell you so click on create a new key pair so here i am going to use the same name as well uh, ml demo so now if i say ml demo create a new key pair and let's say i create a key pair now you can see that i have downloaded a, a ml demo pam file and after downloading this M ml demo uh, pam file one more thing uh, during the creation of your uh, uh, machine you can define your security groups as well so you can select from here like what kind of uh, what from what sources you need your traffic so uh, i have selected here anywhere 000.0 that means i am allowing uh, all of the incoming traffic like inbound traffic um, without any uh, any restriction so uh, once you tap on it and here you can specify the uh, uh, the storage part like how much storage do you need and once you do this and number how many number of instances after all this uh, and then you click on launch instance once you click click on launch instance it will be um, creating your new instance so once you will click on the new instance you what you what you can do is you can go to the instances and you can see that this is the pre, uh, here here you can see that there are two instances appearing this is the previous instance and this is my new instance so once you select it after selecting it what you can do is uh, you can uh, right click here and you can uh, currently you can see that it is running so uh, instant state it is pending so after a few minutes it will come into the running state so till then we can move on to the next step uh, so we have created our uh, ec2 instance and then we are going to need putty and putty gen so putty and putty gen are two softwares that are required to connect with the uh, the cloud server this ubuntu cloud server uh, where we will be connecting using putty so if you have not downloaded it you can download putty and putty gen once you download putty gen then generate private key using putty gen with dot pam file so what we can do is we need to go to i have al already downloaded it so that's why i am directly going to putty gen uh, so my putty gen so if i go to putty gen i click here and once you go here you will see that uh, load and once you see load uh, you can uh, just one second select all files and then uh, select the recently downloaded dot pam file and click on open and then you can see that uh, successfully imported foreign key and this and after this after doing this what you can do is uh, you can save this private key so basically you save this private key uh, so go ahead and i am going to give the same name ml demo and then save it after saving this now i have saved this uh, my this uh, pam file into ppk so basically what i have done is using putty and using that pam file i have generated my ppk file which i which i am going to use in later instead so till then uh, i can close it so and meanwhile uh, you can see that my this ml demo is now running so after this now this uh, one more software we are going to use is we need to going to win we will be needing win scp so win scp uh, you need to download it once you download it what you can do is so once you go here and uh, after downloading win scp here what you need to do is i have already downloaded it and now uh, i am going to connect my win uh, windows machine to my ubuntu cloud server how i am going to do this for that i i will need a host name so for that host name what i am going to use is uh, i would need uh, the i would need the basically ip of this so you can see that so what i can what i can do is uh, i'll go down here and i can see from here this ec2 something url will be generated which will be kind of 
Yes. So you can see here, this is the private IP address and this is my public IP address or this is my uh, DNS. So what you can do is uh, you can use this address as well. So public IP address, what I'm going to use is I'm going to copy this and into my WinSCP, uh, I'm put here and a username is my Ubuntu. And once you go to WinSCP, connect with EC2. Now we are performing the step number nine. Connect with EC2 instance using WinSCP. Make sure to import PPK file in advanced section. So I, we will go here. I have given the name. By default, uh, any Ubuntu instance in AWS cloud username is Ubuntu and password is nothing. So you go to here and inside this advanced section, what you will see is uh, uh, here in the, there is one section should be the here where we can give the here in authentication section and here we can, we need to give the private key. So I am opening this mldemo.ppk file, you can see, which I just converted using that uh, PAM file, which we generated during creation of EC2 instance. We downloaded a P PEM file and that PEM, PEM file is converted to PPK file and that PPK file I'm using in while connecting uh, to my Ubuntu instance using WinSCP. So uh, you can select this PPK file and tap OK and you click on login. So you can see that uh, click yes and you can see that it is importing and now it has been connected. So now you can see that this is the my it is connected to home directory home Ubuntu. And this on the left panel, this is my local. So now we have done this part ninth step is done now drag and drop file from local to server now we need those file which we need which we want to upload to server so basically this is our server so basically our server is up and running and now we want uh, those files which we want to deploy so for the deployment purpose what i am going to do is i am going to go to this folder this particular folder here this one and see Mandeep Singh Hiroku demo and I'm going to see Mandeep Singh Hiroku demo and from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, drag and drop those files which are required for me so if I uh, this template folder is basically if you see this is that index.html so this is my front end so I will be needing this so uh, I'll be needing this uh, sorry so why I'm going to drag and drop this. Now you can see that my templates folder is copied. My app dot file, I, this is my backend. I would need this. My backend is, has already gone. Now I need this pickle file of my model. I would need this. I have drag and dropped this requirement.txt is the file which, uh, which contains all of the libraries name and the versions. So we will be needing this as well. So we are going to drag and drop this one. And the next moving to scalar.pickle, this is another pickle object, pickle library file, pickle file basically, which we will, which we will need. So these are the, I think these are the files that are going to be required into our uh, deployment part. So now this step is also done. Now connect with EC2 is now drag and drop the files from the local to the server. This step is done. Now connect with the EC2 instance using putty add PPK file in auth save session for future access. So now we are, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, connect with our EC2 instance using putty. So here host name will be the same which we used uh, for our WinSCP. So you can see that this is my host name, uh, 18, uh, 18, 143, 170, and 46. So I'm going to use the same. Uh, so 18 dot 143 dot 170 dot, I think uh, it is 46 and 46. And now I have given the name and uh, I can save this session as well. So I'm using the same naming convention. Uh, now uh, my ML demo is here. Now, once uh, you do here, we were performing uh, this step, add PPK file in auth and save session for future. So in uh, there is, uh, we need to add the same PPK file that we used to uh, access 
uh, that we used while connecting via our uh, win scp so for that uh, we where we need to go uh, we need to uh, in auth section so here we need to go to the auth section windows terminal selection connection uh, here in this ssh and this auth and here you can see that private key for file for authentication you need to browse this and you need to select that same ppk file and you need to open this once you open this <coughs> now it is uh, trying to connect with that uh, ubuntu instance we can wait for a couple of seconds now i think it is connected uh it is having some issues let me run it again fail to connect uh, maybe i have done some mistake so ml demo and if i select it ml demo sorry uh so here what we can do is putty putty and the the url so basically the url this is my uh, public ip address you can see that this is my public ip address and here you can see that inside my uh, inside my connection ssh i want to uh, add my auth file and inside my auth file browse i will browse my ml demo dot pk ppk file i will open it and i will say accept now you can see that it is connected my username is ubuntu u b u n t u now uh, now you can see that this is connected this is connected now once this part is done now it is connected to now this part is also done connect with ec2 instance using putty and uh, now it has been done now use this command uh, what we are we are going to do uh, because this is a fresh machine and basically there is what is the scene here is that ubuntu server is connected so you can think of this putty screen is uh, we are passing our commands using this putty screen uh, to our ubuntu server so whatever we will type it will get executed on our that server so now <clears throat> what is the idea is since that machine is completely blank a new fresh machine is present so we need to install some of the required things so we need to install uh, python 3 and, and pip so use this command and uh, when i say use this command i'll go to the putty and i'll just paste it and after pasting this command uh, i will hit enter now what it has started it has started uh, getting all of the required like python 3 and pip related libraries meanwhile it may take some time so we can wait for a couple of minutes uh, so it is asking me do you want to continue you yes i am saying yes now you can see that it is doing very fast so once this part is done come here to the security groups now uh, now create security group here is my ml demo security ml demo i'm just keeping the same name everywhere ml demo and then you can see here inbound rules what kind of traffic you want here so you, here you need to uh, select uh, what kind of protocol or what kind of traffic you want so here you need to see collect select all traffic all traffic means all type of traffic all type of protocol all type of port and then you just you can add a, a description here and you can add rule oh, sorry add rule is not required and once you do this and uh, then you can create a security group so you need to give some description so you have given description here and you click on the create security group here here you can you need to select anywhere 
so now this part is done and now create security group now this security group has been created once this security group has been created you need to uh, you need to you need to right click and sorry not here right click uh, once this security group is created you need to go to the security groups back to the security groups here back to the security groups and now you can see that now this security group ml demo is created and right click on it and once you right click on it then there is option this one chain security groups uh, so you can see that there should be some uh, there should be some option to it no 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 uh, so that part is in your uh, network interface so go to network interfaces and right click on it and it, here you need to uh, change security group uh, here is change security group and once you come here you can add here ml demo so basically what we are doing here is we are we created a security group security group is a kind of check um, is a kind of blank so basically there are some rules defined that what kind of traffic we want and based on that security group now we are applying that security group to our machine so for that we need to come to this network interfaces tab and inside that network interfaces tab we can select our security group so we can select here we have created ml demo and if i'll say add a security group then you can see that now two security group have been added and i will save it now this part has been done now if i go back to my ec2 dashboard uh, and uh, my instance is running it is so it you can see here uh, if you will see here one is the security group that was launched wizard 2 this was the default security group that was assigned by uh, aws while creating the new instance ml demo is the new security group that was uh, created by us so now there are two security groups attached to this instance so this part is the uh, this part is done and meanwhile uh, Meanwhile, in our putty, our required like Python and PIP, all those things have been installed. Now, after this, the next step uh, for the next step. So we have done this part as well. And now next part is uh, we just need to install the required libraries, the required libraries for our model from requirements.txt. So you just go here and PIP3 install R hyphen R and requirements.txt. And then you can see that it is down it is installing all of the libraries now after installing all of these libraries we will we will be able to see how um, how we can run it so meanwhile we can wait for a couple of uh, now this part has been done now let us what we want to do the next thing is uh, let's say uh, the next thing what we need to do is python3 app.py because now i am in the root folder and my all of the required libraries have been installed and now i am running my uh, app.py which is my backend so if i run it my backend then you can see that now uh, now it is running and after this now you what you need to do is since we are using this ip basically this ip public ip to connect with this server uh, so what we will do we will type this one and our port was 8080 and we will press enter you can see that this has been deployed and you can see now just to test whether it is working fine or not uh, i have entered something random uh, some random salary my age is let's say my 45 i am a male and let's say i click on predict you can see that it is giving me output as well so the deployment part has been completed so uh, if i show it to you this is my putty and you can see that once whenever any hit comes like whenever any hit comes, you can see that this is my slash predict was called and it has given me 400 that is response sorry 200 200 means uh, 
my request was successfully served so this is all about uh, the today's video how we can uh, deploy a model onto aws aws instance if you have any questions please do let me know in comments and uh, i will upload this code onto the uh, everything related to the code onto the github and i will leave the link into the description uh, for uh, for the github repo and all the other relevant links for this video will be present into the description of this video as well so that's all for this video guys uh, stay tuned for more interesting videos on uh, data science machine learning ai uh, and if you have like this if you have uh, uh, like this video found this useful please share it with your friends and sub please subscribe my channel till the next video bye bye take care thank you